And I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel, and we are looking at a live radar here at Lake Oroville. We are doing a Lake Oroville update. We're starting to get towards the rainy season. You can see that the rain is starting to come down, and we will go out and check out a live video here in a minute as we scoot in. It's really getting it there at Lake Oroville. As you can tell by the live feed, it is really hard to see right now. There is just not much going on there because the rain is just getting it. It's really, really gloomy, really, really dark. As you can see, you kind of see in here now a little bit. But boy, it is really, really gloomy, Dave. What a difference between Illinois. The sun is shining here and it's dark and gloomy there. So last week it was just the opposite. It was really sunny there and it was dark and gloomy here. So let's roll out to the lake report next and see what's going on on there's a picture of the dam and you can see that there's water in it you could kind of see that they reinstalled the stairwell that they put down there in the fall and it looks like they might be doing some work down here it's just hard to say so let's roll on out to the water graphs next and see what's up in your current graph is 823.60 feet and that was Sunday October 22nd 2023 at 2 p.m. the level is 243.40 feet below full pool of 900 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0 0.49 inches in the last 24 hours over the last 14 days the lake is down 5.53 feet in the last 14 and in the last 365 days the lake is up 137.94 feet we will go back and look at the last week. As we go out to the weekly water report, you can see that on Monday, October 16th, the water level was 825.62 feet, and that was down from the previous day. On Tuesday, October 17th, the water level was 825.30 feet, and you can see that was down as well. Wednesday, October 18th, you can see that the water level was 825.06 feet, and that was down as well. We go to Thursday, Thursday, October 19th, the water level was 824.69 feet and that water level was down as well and we go to Friday October 20th the water level was 824.40 feet and it was down as well from the previous day we go to Saturday yesterday the water level was 824.09 feet and it was down as well and then we go to today as stated earlier the water level of course is 823.60 feet and it's down as well as stated earlier and we go to your full pool graph in full pools 900 in 2021 we were at the decimal point of 630 feet and it was really close it was right around an active pool and 2022 the level came up to 685.66 feet and of course today we're at 23.60 feet in active pools 630.0 feet which the power plant was shut down if I recall so that might be a little bit higher as far as inactive pool goes in your dead pool 604 as of October 22nd 2 p.m. Lake Orville is up 137.94 feet from one year ago Lake Orville is up 193.07 feet from two years ago and Lake Orville is 193.60 feet from Deadpool and we continue to go and your inflows are terrible right now inflows are currently negative 80 five and your outflows are eight so at least they're not releasing much water but they're not gaining much water and we're going to go out to windy.com right now and check out the weather forecast it looked a lot better yesterday and i was like this is it we're finally getting into the wet season today it's not looking as good so we'll start off at windy.com and see what the next 10 days has in store as you can see in the, within the next three days at Oroville itself they're going to get about a half inch of precipitation over here by Bullard's Bar Reservoir they're going to get 0.4a up here in the Feather Rither system they're going to get about 0.35 we go up here towards Mount Shasta you can see not a whole lot a lot of the precipitation is going to be over by Sacramento and Yuba City hello Steve hope all is well down here at Lake Folsom you're talking about 0.43 down there on the American River a little precipitation is this new snow are we already starting to see new snow you may be asking yourself and the answer is very little a little bit of precipitation here in snow 0.4 up here 0.4 just not a whole lot some, but not a whole lot more to the north up here. You can see that that's going to be quite a bit. We go to the next 10 days, and you can see that it does start to light up some within the next 10 days. You're talking, this is the European. They're talking about 11.8 
and 9.2 over by Chester. So they're starting to build a snowpack. We'll be doing the snow forecasting before too much longer. 6.9. We're getting towards the rainy season, so it shouldn't be too much longer. They are saying El Nino. It should be pretty wet. 7.5 down here. Yosemite Valley over here. 4.4. Mammoth Lakes. 1.3. And in between, 6.6. 6.7 over there. And you can see over here in the Colorado, they're starting to get snow too. So we'll be talking about that in an upcoming video, probably tomorrow. I'm hoping if everything goes well. The GFS, they're not calling for near as much snow. They're talking about two inches of snow. So we'll see which one wins out. You got to remember, the Europeans always more aggressive than the GFS. And last year, the GFS was the clear winner, in my opinion, over the European by far. So that is all I have for that let's go and check out the percentage of capacity for each lake here we are at the current reservoir conditions california major water supply reservoirs you can see that trinity's only at 51 orville's at 70 shasta's at 70 new bullard's bar 70 Folsom 60 san luis 73 and diamond valley you can come and check the rest of them out right here the tom pedro 82 new malone's 79 they're not looking too bad millerton's at 29 it's way down it's always way down it's in southern california and we go out to the seasonal precipitation outlook and you can see even with this El Nino they're talking about, they're really not talking about a whole lot of precipitation here inside of California. The equal chances, at least that's not below chances, so you'll be getting some precipitation, at least not like up here in Montana where they're talking about below and over here in Michigan. But equal chances mainly through the whole United States of precipitation above over here in Florida and along the Gulf Coast. Texas is a little bit above and then the blue is like 30% leaning above but not exactly so that's not real good news it's not positive news but at least you don't have the same repeat of last year but then again this was wrong last year so you have to take that into consideration as well and let's go look at the drought monitoring system next as you can see california is in really good shape as far as it's really not in drought you have a little bit of a drought here in the north the north central part of California in the southeast of California. Nevada's in some drought too in southeast and then a lot of Arizona's in drought as well. But we go over to California, the one we're mainly concerned about today in this video. Up here there's some drought and down here there's some drought as well. San Bernardino, Cal county just a little bit there so that is really all i have for today thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video we will be back soon with the colorado river update and maybe just a lake mead update i haven't done just a lake mead update in quite a while so we'll be talking about that here in the next day or two so you guys have a blessed day and we will see you on the next one god bless